Our world is in dire need of perspective. We give up our lives knowingly, but we rarely give them to Him. We are enslaving ourselves to time, money, and stuff, to the point where human interaction will never seem like enough. Now before I continue, from here it will be about we and not I, because I need some work, and I'm by no means a perfect guy. We go through our lives in a chronic state of tunnel vision, stroll through a daily routine habit while defaulting simple decisions, go to school and learn mnemonic devices and funneled wisdom, believe and worship in a cosmic god, but ignore his troubled kinsmen. When priorities don't meet lifestyle, actions don't feel worthwhile, your mind can quickly fall into a constant state of turmoil, as your mind wonders why nothing seems like enough here on Earth's soil. And to a point, that's the truth and Matthew would agree. Paraphrase his book, chapter six, where your treasure is stored, there your heart will also be. You might always care what people think of you. It's definitely how I live. But use that mindset to your advantage in order to gain perspective. Walking a mile in a person's shoes is great, but you don't get the whole story. That's like trying to describe the entire NBA with just the point guard, Steph Curry. In our minds, there should be a closet full of people's shoes and we should try them all off for size. It's amazing how when a shoe doesn't fit right, it can really open up your eyes. How can you understand the life of a size six if you always wear a size 12? Or what if your shoes are spotless while someone else's have been through hell? Every new person you meet brings a new pair of shoes. Now that we, whether we try to understand or ignore, that's for us to choose. Now here's where the metaphor breaks down and I hope that you can discern that this is always around us and this is the lesson to learn. Until open arms replace closed minds, darkness will always cover where light shines. Ignorance will always be found while understanding hides. Our world will be filled with closed ears and biased eyes. How quick are we to judge, to critique others' lives, when all we have is a first glance and a stereotype? How do you feel when someone judges you for your appearance, like by your weight, your looks, or maybe that your clothes are from the clearance? It's easy to judge, easy to call out who looks like a fool. So why do we reciprocate and ignore the golden rule? Most people like to speak before they think, but that's not how it should work. Some people might say it's a skill, but I wouldn't even call it a quirk. Because when the tongue moves before the brain can analyze the situation, that tongue represents a closed mind that suffocates the conversation. So how do we fix all this and replace ignorance with comprehension? Start by observing first and always paying attention. Then get to know each other through talking to any and every one. It's amazing what you can learn when you don't talk with your thumbs. Listen first, think second, and make the most out of each word. Less is more, better one word heard than two ignored. And at the end of the day, don't take anything for granted. Count your blessings and thank the Lord for this planet. Because even if your life is not the one you wish to live, the difference between being happy and sad is all based on your perspective. Thanks, guys.